Hello there, I'm Ben and welcome to this video, a tutorial for Rainbow Connection, a song sang and written by a frog in a swamp. True story. <laughs> Fantastic click. And we're going to have lots of fun with this song. It's got a beautiful one, two, three waltzing feel and wonderful chords too. So it's definitely worth playing and singing to everyone, everywhere, all the time. <laughs> this is how it, what it sounds like. Ça c'est l'intro, this is the intro. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions. And rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told and some choose to believe it I know they're wrong, wait and see Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection I need to scroll, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should have scrolled before But I really need to scroll <laughs> the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Who said that every wish would be heard and answered when wished on the morning star? Somebody thought of that. And what happened then? Well, actually, what happened then was that someone believed it And look what it's done so far <laughs> What's so amazing that keeps us stargazing What do we think we might see? Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. All of us are under its spell. We know that it's probably magic. Now there's a little key change. But I can't remember the lyrics And I can't seem to find the mouse Here we go Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same I've heard it too many times to ignore it it's something that I'm supposed to be And I'm gonna suggest here It's maybe a leader of a Muppet band That's, that's your calling Kermit Maybe you should just go for it Someday we'll find it The rainbow connection The lovers, the dreamers and me La da 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 do ba da 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 There you go! That was a rainbow connection sang by another green fellow, Kermit the Frog. We're going to start with the most important aspect of this song when you are going to sing it, and that is the rhythm of it and the feeling of it. Because if you don't have this sort of yearning feeling in your heart. You're in your swamp, but you want to see what's beyond rainbows and clouds and horizons. That's what this song is about. The rhythm we're going to have in this song is a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you definitely mustn't play it. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's not a, it's not a march. It's, it's a waltzing ballad, which means you've got a one, two, Three, one, two. See what I'm doing with my arm? This is all part of the explaining. Don't worry, I'm just not. <laughs> I'm not just deflecting from the actual song. This is important. It's one, two, three, one, two, 
three. So we've got a bigger one and little two and threes that and the three leads back to the one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. You see the two, three, one. This is what we're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna try it on just an A for, for the moment. Two, one, open, open. Two, two, do, do, do. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we're gonna add an up just before the one. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. And now we're gonna add an up as written here. And it's gonna be one, two, three, one. So we've got down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Very soft. Make sure you don't play like this. Oi, 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 because it's a inspiring ballad. And what you need to notice is that we've got actually a waltzing rhythm with, with three beats, but inside each individual beat, we've got another three triplets. It's a bit like a matryoshka of, uh, of triplets. We've got one, two, three, and inside it we've got one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So we're not strumming back up like this. But we've got the triplet feel inside. So you're staying down longer than you are up. One, two, three, 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 one. Why are there so many? And we're going to keep this strumming pattern and this feel, of course, throughout the whole song. Now, let's start with um, these four chords. Let's just practice the loop. And we're going to play A, F sharp minor, BM7, which is second finger or any finger all across the second frets. And then we've got actually two chords for one little volt, one bunch of three beats. We've got an E7-4 and then an E7. Basically, you play an E7, that's the trick, without your middle finger, so index, ring finger, little finger, and then you add your little finger, your middle finger, on the second fret here, just above where your index is. And then you go one, two, three. So one E7-4 and two E7s, which means we'll have a two three F sharp two three BM seven two three E seven four E seven E seven A and now with the whole strumming you can also play the BM seven with all your fingers except the index for example like this so that you're ready for the E7, 4, E7. But maybe it's not too easy, especially if you have a concert or a tenor, to actually press down two strings with your ring finger here. Right, let's uh, have a look at the song, shall we? Let's take it really slow, so you have time to really figure out what's going on. Uh, we've got this rhythm, one, two, three, one, two, Three. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? Two, three, and what's on the other? And here we've got a D, and the D I also played without my index in this case. Side, because it, the index moves out of the way here to, from the F sharp minor because I'm using these three fingers for the D. And then on the E7-4, I'm using the same as earlier on. Uh, no index for the E7-4, which means two, two, open, two. Let's do that again. And what's on the other side? One, two, three of E7-4. You hear this is a beautiful chord because we've got a suspended fourth which means that the, the chord is in suspended animation. You're not quite sure where it's going. And rainbows are visions. BM7, but only illusions. And here again, E7, 4, E7, E7. And actually on those three chords, a lot of the time, I don't actually play the strumming pattern. I just play three downs, because then you get ting, ting, ki, ting, ki, ting, ting, ting. And it's nice to have variation. 
And the strumming pattern is mainly a suggestion, but it's nice to vary, to not have the ups all the time, to have them sometimes, sometimes here, sometimes there. And then, after rainbows have nothing to hide. D. And here, we're not using the index, and we lift the little finger, so we're using the two middle fingers, three and four, to hide on the second part of hide. And then D major seven. That means second finger all across, and ring finger on fourth fret A string. So we've been told, and, and we've got two strumming patterns for this chord. That's why there's a slash just after the chord. And some, and now we change, two, two, open four. That's the same chord except with a suspended second, the number two. Choose to believe it. And for this I'm using index, middle finger, and um, ring finger, but you can use a little finger actually, it's much more comfortable. And then we've got a C sharp minor seven, that's going to be really easy because all we have to do is bring this down. One, one, open three. I know they're wrong, wait and see. VM7. And by the way, we've got two strumming patterns of that chord, uh, four strumming patterns of C sharp minor seven. I know they're wrong, wait and see. Three, two, three, four, two, three. VM7. Someday E7 will find it. C sharp minor seven, the rainbow curve. And this is the difficult one, I suppose. The Probably the trickiest chord of the song is the F sharp minor, and we've got three, four, two, four. Connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. And at the end, don't forget to not use your index for the E7-4, two, two, open two, and then the index is used as you lift your middle finger on the E7 on and, and me, sorry, and, and me. And me, and me gets an A, but and from the and me gets in E7. But me gets an A, that's better. Should have used but. And then we get a little bit of the intro again, which I'll go into more detail about at the end. Now we've got practically the same thing again, more or less. Who said that every wish BM7 would be heard and 4777 seven, seven, when wished on the mornings D without the index E473 somebody So what's really important, and I'll have a little parenthesis here is that you really, at the end of certain sentences for example when it goes D, E47 you don't want to play it like this Wished on the morning star Samba. You, you want to move like a wave lifting and going down again with the music. And that's definitely where the wave lifts. When wished on the morning star. Here. Somebody thought of that. That's what music is. And you have this a lot in the song. It's building up something and ooh, going down again. It's like the breath of the sea. Ooh, so you really want to go a bit louder and create waves of dynamics of music to uh, give um, your song a bit of um, you know a bit mountainous landscape styled uh, changes in the way you're playing the ukulele does that make sense no it doesn't matter just play the chords you'll be fine and somebody thought of that and someone believed it here i didn't bother just put e7 and look what it's done so d far and d2 for three beats i mean for one little volts and then we've got again the d m7 and the d2 m7 what's so amazing that on keeps keeps us stargazing t sharp minus seven for four strumming patterns we might see four Someday will E7 find it, the C sharp minor and the F7, the BM7 and the E7 and the A, and now all of us are under this spell. We know that it's probably magic. Key change. Right, let's just see what's happening here. We've got the lovers, the E7 dominant going back to the A 
and me, but that's not the resolution, it keeps building here. And me, build it up, build it up, all of us under the spell. And the wave is down again. We build the wave, and we know that it's probably the wave is calm. And here it builds itself up again as we play an F7, which is 2, 3, 1, 3. And that leads us on very nicely to a wonderful key change, uh, a uh, semitone above A is a B flat. Yeah, that's that's what's happening. So F F7 is the dominant of the key of B flat and we're going into Have you been half asleep? So there's a slush after the F7 that means two uh, voltages of that and then the verse number three. And have you heard voices? Oh, this is really nice to do. Here we have E flat two F7 F7 meaning three down strokes. One is E flat suspended second that I write E flat two because space uh, and that's just open three one one with the index and then that's on the first beat of the vault one two three and on the two three we actually put we add our middle finger and our little finger to make an F7 so that's second fret of the G string third fret of the A string what note is that by the way a little test uh, you can't see Oh, but that was the right answer. It is a, it is a C. Anyway. And have you heard voices? F7, F7, B flat. I've heard them. G minor calling my... And here we've got a normal E flat for a whole volts. Name the E to F7. Is this the sweet sound that calls the young sailors? The voice might be one and the same. Make sure you sing on key here because a lot of the uh, the appeal of this melody is the fact that a lot of the notes that Kermit is singing are not directly on a part of the chords that we're playing and that creates some tension and resolution that calls the young sailors the voice might be one and the same I've heard it too many so we've got to open three three five and then if you want you can do four voltages of that or we can also have an E flat two seven which is a really cool chord that maybe you've never played before which is open third fret first fret fifth fret times two ignore it and then DM7 oof I know that one it's something that I'm supposed to third volts fourth volts CM7 will find it on an F7, BM7 connection, CM7 the lovers, the dreamers and me, and then the best bit, it's not done. La, da, di, da, da, di, do. We're actually singing Do, but it's ironic because we're Do, we're singing an F. But da, 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 di, da. And then we finish singing on a D, singing a Do. Do. And that's the end of the song of this tutorial and the beginning of you practicing this song if you want to help yourself and to help me. That'll be then with the song sheet that goes with this lesson. There you go. Enjoy this wonderful tune and enjoy the rainbows and the sunshine, possibly through a window, but hopefully you can get outside a bit or you know just open the windows as I don't know. Thanks a lot for watching everybody, see you soon for more, bye bye, and feel free to uh, click subscribe and why not watch some more ukulele videos from, from this guy.